Hello, I'm going to read something from the book The Runaway Robot by the very wonderful Frank Corfu Boyce and it's a very wonderful book. Uh, I'm going to read a bit of it, uh, a chapter in which the hero of the story, Alfie, who has discovered a gigantic runaway robot, takes it home. You know when you get a new phone or something? and you just want to rip the box open right there in the shop and you're so excited that you don't even read the instructions. That's what I was like when I got Eric home. He looked like the kind of robot that could shoot lasers from its eyes or bullets from its fingers or could transform into a fast car or a rocket. And he was my obedient servant. Okay, Eric, I said, you are my obedient servant. Show me what you can do. I can perform a range of household chores, floors, sweeping of, clothes, ironing of. Ironing? Clothes? I thought I'd found Iron Man. I'd actually found Ironing Man. I can welcome guests. We never have any guests. Answer the telephone. Nobody answers the telephone anymore. I can also prepare a light snack. If you've been hoping for laser firing lessons, a snack is definitely a disappointment. But it is a snack. I can prepare cucumber sandwiches. Cucumber sandwiches are not a snack. Cucumber sandwiches are just a way of hiding a cucumber. Eggs. Eggs could be good, I thought. So I filled a pan full of water and handed him a couple of eggs. He closed his fingers, crushing the eggs into his steel palm, then opened the palm again. His hand was glowing red hot. He literally grilled the eggs on his own hand. They sizzled, they bubbled. The bits of broken shell inside them glowed white with heat. The heat from Eric's hand blasted my face. I had to screw my eyes up, which was just as well, because soon the little bits of broken shell started flying around the room like little tiny bullets. I will cook for three minutes or two taste. No, 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 stop. You're going to burn the place down. We're being shelled by eggs. Eric nodded and then turned his hand round so the palm was pointing down. Incinerated egg flopped onto the floor, black and bubbly, like a deep-fried bat. It was not food, but it was excellent. I said, do it again, and I gave him two more eggs. One of the shells filled up with hot air and then exploded like a hand grenade. They were the last two eggs, so I thought I'd see how he was with toast. Slices of bread caught fire within five seconds. I also tried him with raisins. They squeal, then hiss, then suddenly fossilize. Cheese goes gooey, goes gooey first, then it flows like hot lava onto the floor. Sugar smells like all the sweets you ever wanted, but then turns into evil super glue. Salt blazes blue. Plastic don't smells like poo. Very thinly sliced potato, I thought. This might lead to crisps, and it did. I sprinkled some of them with salt and doused them with vinegar. But when I tried to eat some, Eric put his hand out to stop me. He poured the crisps into one of Mum's best bowls and gave them to me on a tray. He really is a polite robot, I thought, as I sat there munching my way through a massive bowl of salt and vinegar crisps. Okay, I may not have a laser blasting warbot, but I do seem to have a massive crisp making machine.